Storm Whitney. Well, we do have beautiful rain in parts of the state. I mean, look at western Colorado getting a nice soaking this afternoon. Some rain, some snow, some of that moving up into Larimer County. Front range, there may be just a few spotty showers out there, but again, a little bit more cloud cover throughout the afternoon. Taking a wider look out here to show us, you, show us our atmospheric setup here. We have an area, uh, area of low pressure that's over Utah right now. A cold front is getting ready, is moving through Colorado right now. So that cold front will continue to move through tonight. Let's look at our future cast. We're going to continue to see some rain and snow out there. Maybe some late night showers in the Denver area and maybe even a few early morning showers uh, in the northern part of the state. And then we'll see a better chance tomorrow afternoon, a spotty in the afternoon, but then actually at night will be a better chance of some rain. Very similar to Sunday night and into Monday like we had across the front range. And then that will clear out by Thursday morning with just a few areas getting a few lingering showers out there. So in terms of rain, it should be less than an inch in most areas. There may be a few pockets uh, in northern Colorado and down to the southeast that see a little bit more than that. So it's a nice little soaking that will make its way through. Let's look at our temperatures right now. We're warmer than yesterday for most of us. 55 in Denver, 59 in Greeley, 74 in La Junta. We have 58 in Frisco and 33 over in Craig. That's one of our cold spots right now. We have our weather watcher Kimberly Novich saying that it's pretty windy in Como right now. She's had gusts up to 28 miles an hour and certainly it is a windier day for us across the state. We have gusty wind, especially in the high country and down to the south. You'll find winds anywhere from about 35 to close to 50 miles an hour and it will still be windy out there tomorrow. We do have a red flag warning in place through 8 o'clock tonight for southern Colorado. Obviously very dry out there and of course very, very windy. Let's check in with our temperatures tonight. A little warmer than last night for some of us. 39 in Denver, 37 in Greeley, 30s out east. High country, it's pretty cool out there in the low 20s and then 20s, low 30s in western Colorado. And then on Wednesday, we stay a little bit on the cool side thanks to the front that's working its way through right now. So 52 in Denver, 50 in Fort Collins, 50s, 60s out east with 40s to the 30s in the high country and across the front range tomorrow, 50 in Broomfield and Brighton and for Aurora and Centennial, 56 here downtown. And then once you had a little bit higher in elevation, 41 in Netherland, 39 in Blackhawk. And looking at that extended forecast, we jumped pretty quickly to 70 on Thursday. There will be that shot of rain mainly in the morning. Then it's a pretty nice afternoon with sunshine, a little windy, 80 degrees on Friday to kick off the weekend, 85 on Saturday. Then we're slightly cooler on Sunday. There will be a chance of some thunderstorms and rain showers mainly, it looks like, on Saturday afternoon and evening for Mother's, or I should say Sunday uh, for Mother's Day. Mm. It's all right. We like all those rain chances. That's yes. great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lauren. Well, the Avs first playoff.